If you've drank several coffees pulling your hair over trying to create a consistent character using AI, then rest easy, because I've just found a way to take any character image, including its standout features, like this one created using a simple text prompt to get consistent image scenes that can be used as story scenes, or simply add another consistent female character for our lonely boy with a text prompt to get images with multiple consistent characters that can be animated, that can be animated to create a complete monetizable comic book or AI story videos, picking from a variety of video models like Kling 2.0, Google Vio, Wan 2.1, and Minimax, or use it to make consistently cursed scenes all in a single platform using OpenArt AI's consistent character features, covering each step from generating character sheets to story scenes with multiple consistent characters with secret tips and putting them all together to create a cohesive story that I'll play at the end. But watch till the end to win a hidden surprise waiting for you. Log into OpenArt using the link below. You can check your credits here. And let's start by hitting consistent character under storytelling where we can create our consistent model. Let's start with one image to place our character and name it. And that's it. Click create and wait a few minutes and our character model's trained. You can now select it and it'll redirect to the image generation space. Let's go for quick templates and select the character sheet to then scroll down and create. And we already have our consistent character, but to place him in a scene or custom setting, we'll go back and click on prompt and reference and you can see it labels the character by name with an add in front. We can place him in any setting by typing the scene after it. And we'll leave the settings and generate to get this lovely output. Now that we've covered the basics, let's move towards planning our story script and scenes. You can simply do this by pasting my prompt to get story script along with scene and character prompts. We don't have an image, so this time we'll start with description. Here I'll type in the character name and copy the character prompt I generated. To select the 3D style and hit create preview, we're going for a battle-worn samurai dad. This one looks perfect. We can select it and create character. Until this trains, we will cue the next character, a succubus mom, Sira. Once it's done, we can click on the character that is already selected and type a prompt like view you at a disco and generate to get this consistent image, but he feels so out of place. So let's stick to creating our scenes. We need both Wu and Sira in this one. So we'll add character to select Sira and we can paste our prompt here and add our character names by using at to select them when needed in the prompt. We'll select preferred aspect ratio and set number of images before generating and get this amazingly consistent scene with both of them. Here's a few heartwarming scenes I generated using this. I also tried training another model that had several features like different eyes, a hat and necklace with this image but I got elf ears and a muffler in scenes due to using a single image to train a character having multiple features. So here's where the character lab feature shines. Simply upload the character image and paste in what we want that character to do in the prompt box and we get a wildly accurate image that's consistent. However, I forgot to mention I wanted a landscape shot so we'll just download it and go to edit and upload it to hit expand and select a desired aspect ratio then simply prompt the background we want and create to get a landscape shot. This works well for a single character, but let's train a superior character model that's capable of having multiple characters and handling a lot of distinct features. But first we need four consistent images of our character. So I'll click on create image and use the prompt for Wu adding 3D Pixar style in the prompt, select aspect ratio and generate, this one looks cool. Let's download it and now we'll simply go to chat or character labs to upload it and prompt it to make a character sheet for us. Prompts given below and we get this amazing character sheet. Now we can crop the image to extract the side pose and back pose and also crop a close up image of Wu. Now we can upload these four images and create your character. Give it the name Wu Young and create our character. FYI, Young is not his last name, it's just to distinguish age. We'll repeat this for our succubus character as well. From generation to character sheet, then crop it to get four images that'll be used for training. Now that we have all our characters trained, it's go time. Copy the prompts, select the character as per scene, and paste the prompt while replacing the name using at and generate and look at the consistency maintained after training the model on four images. We'll continue creating our scenes this way, but you must be wondering what'll happen to the image if we keep auto enhance off. Well, I prefer it on unless your prompt is highly detailed, but it may not matter much in most cases. And if we turn off preserve key features, then it may start to be flexible with the hair or clothes. So keeping it on is for the best. The overall consistency of this thing is amazing. But in case you get an occasional elf ear, you can simply 
Click in paint and brush over the surface to specify the replacement to create and download the corrected one. We have all our scenes except one of Nezu, so we'll go to Character Labs and generate it. Let's move on to the exciting part of animating these scenes by clicking to video. And let's start by selecting text to paste a prompt for the only scene which doesn't need an image of a cabin in the woods, 3D Pixar style, turn on auto enhance and the cool part is that you can even add sound by toggling on auto sound and specifying the sound you want. Select aspect ratio and create. It's perfect. We'll be moving on to image to video to animate our story scenes. You will find a variety of video models to choose from and we'll be comparing which one is the best for each particular use case. So let's select Veo2 and upload our first scene of Neju. We can now paste our prompt provided by ChatGPT including the style, camera shot and motion blur while using auto sound to get horse gallops to be heard and create. The physics looks great and consistency is maintained, but it wasn't adherent to our prompt of him swinging on tree vines. Let's try the same with Kling 1.6 and there's a clear difference. The consistency is slightly compromised, but the action and motion is maintained perfectly. I similarly started queuing my multiple character scenes while specifying each character's role by referring to them as woman or a man. To get three outstanding results with Kling 1.6, which costed 100 credits per video generation, cheaper to other models, the adherence was maintained along with actions of each character with added sound effects, but I mistakenly inputted a wrong sound prompt in one of them, giving inaccurate SFX, we can simply fix this by downloading it, and clicking on audio to upload it here, and turning on auto sound and removing the original sound while specifying the correct SFX for the scene, and hit create to get it redone in 10 credits. Before generating the video, we can also turn on auto speech to select a voice for the character and turn on lip sync to enter our voiceover for it to get a perfect lip sync. Keep in mind it works best for characters facing towards the camera. No, it's leaking again. I went on to create multiple scenes for my story testing all the different models like this one of a young Wu throwing a pebble while Tsira reads a book and the results provided a lot of insights. One 2.1 was very dynamic and unpredictable in physics but kept the consistency. Pixverse and Vidu either added another character or gave static results eliminating them from the competition. Kling 1.6 gave a comparatively better result while Kling 2.0 was slightly unpredictable and Hailu performed best overall understanding the camera movement as well as maintaining consistency. I compared them with other scenes as well and I found the overall winner to be Kling 1.6 in terms of cost, effectiveness and consistency. One 2.1 performed well in scenes that needed dynamic and fast paced movements and was also cheap while Veo didn't give a lot of movement or adherence in the prompts it gave great results where physics and slow movement was needed although expensive. Halu performed well in dynamic scenes of medium intensity with good camera movement and cheap costs. Once done, let's download all our scenes and move on to 11 labs to curate appropriate voiceovers for the animated story. Finally, we can head over to CapCut and import story scenes to drag them on the timeline adjusting and placing them in order to add our voiceovers while placing transitions and a few captions to make it come all together to export our perfect AI animated video. Shit, my thrusters! You're wondering what the hell's going on? It all started with the kid's late mom and dad. That's his father, a banished diamond. <laughs> his mom, a runaway succubi. This is how you do it, honey. <laughs> how long will we keep running, Wu? As long as I have to. You're all I have. You too. But they'll never leave him alone. The problem began when they met. Wu, a young prince tired of his obligations, came to skip stones near the lakeside. About to pick up another pebble to skip, he found a green one, and his eyes met Sira. Wait, please don't look at me. Gosh, my power's leaking again. Worried she'll seduce him, but he stood unflinched. I guess this stone nullifies your magic. Wow, really? He'll catch them, but love was forbidden. They were banished for years, with a baby half succubus and half prince. And now you know why they're after me. Nezhu, born running. But wait, if you're still watching, I'm excited to share that we are holding a giveaway in the comments for a lucky winner to receive a three month free open art membership. So make sure to comment open art below along with how you would use it and hit like and subscribe. Though the last two are optional, it would mean a lot. And even if you don't win, you can still get a 50% discount on their plans or enjoy the free trial. I'll see you in the next one.